Well, as the days grow shorter and the weather becomes colder, everybody, many people negatively affected with what we call the winter blues. Yes, I definitely have to fight this myself. And luckily, we have our friend, author, and clinical psychologist, Dr. John Duffy, joining us now. He needs to bring in some tips. So good morning. Good Thanks morning, for guys. In. So talk to us. The first way to fight these winter blues, exercise? Exercise is a big way. Um, so, you know, we all feel a little bit down, a little bit hibernative this time of year. Uh, the more routine you establish, exercise being primary because that sweat that you get when you exercise, that runs contrary to depression all the time. So if from now through February you can maintain a good exercise routine three times a week minimum, you're beating the it winter makes, blues. It makes such a difference. Like, I feel like the next day I'm still in a good mood, too, yeah. if I have exercised. Endorphins. Major game no question. Yes. Now, the next one I call this one, Dr. John, the Krista Green rule. It is make sure you stay connected socially. Yes, yeah, no small thing. So a lot of us want to hibernate and isolate this time of year, and we think this feels healthy, and I get it, but the more we are out there socially, the more we inoculate ourselves from, like, the depression and the loneliness that marks this time of year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you should also come up with some goals, is that right? You have to come up with goals. What so, kind of goals? So um, you, you want to challenge yourself a little bit this time of year. So try something different. Learn an instrument, join a book club, join a gym and actually stick with it, you know, yeah. actually go. Um, but anything you can do that kind of tricks your brain into thinking, you know what, I got to get out there and I got to do things all the way through February or March. Mm -hmm. That's going to keep you engaged and going okay. all the way through and beat those winter blues. Well, okay. Dr. John, I kind of want to stick with those goals there for a second because I think people sometimes struggle with identifying what are good goals and what goals should be. Um, some, are they attainable? Are they unattainable? Yeah. Are these productive goals to have? Yeah. How do you go about uh, deciding what those goals should be? The first thing is they have to be attainable. So you want to be reasonable. You want to start with something that really works for you, right? So if you feel like oh, I'm going to read 30 books in 60 days <laughs> and that's completely unreasonable, don't don't set yourself up for that failure, right? So you want to set yourself up for something where you know you're going to get the win and start with week long goals instead of three month long goals right. and establish those goals and meet them each week and set new ones every Sunday night. Okay. And lastly, sleep. Yeah, so a lot of, and what we're I We're struggling mean by, with this one. Yeah. We're all struggling with this one. So you guys might not get enough sleep. A lot of people this time it's of year- too much sleep, get probably. Too much sleep, yeah. yes. And if you get too much sleep, that in, is depressing unto itself. So you want to establish really good routines, not too much sleep, not too many screens, not too much food. Okay. Yeah. But Doc, cool. this one can be hard because you will open the door, the hawk hits you in the face, it's too cold out there, I don't want to go outside. <laughs> right. So how do you, I know we, we've had a list here, you know, being social, working out. Yeah. How do you combat the not laying in bed because it feels so darn good? It just good? feels good. <laughs> you don't have to combat it all the way. So that's, okay. that's the beauty of the winter blues thing is you are allowed to hibernate a little bit. Our bodies yeah. are telling us this time of year it is okay to do that. What you want to do is maintain some balance and moderation here. Okay. If you can do that, then you're going to be good to go. What about the happy lamps or sad lamps as they call them? Do you know about these? Yeah, I do know about these. What do you um, think? Do they work or not? When I first heard about these, Carly, I thought this is the most absurd thing. You read a <laughs> little bit of research on these things. You look at these lamps for about a half an hour a morning and they simulate sunlight and they really do boost mood. It's unbelievable how effective these things are. Okay, I feel like I need to try so one So Happy these Lamp is something to invest in. I okay. had no idea This about is something yeah. to invest in. It's very there's, cool. There's an episode of my favorite show, Broad City, where she gets like obsessed with it in the New York City <laughs> winter. So good tips all around. Thank you so much Thanks. for being here, Dr. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to have you as always, Dr. Yeah. John. And if you guys want more info and tips, just go to drjohnduffy.com and be sure to check out his podcast called Better. It sounds really good. Yeah.